Yes, some crew report can run, but other than that, everything else is off. Okay, run orbit. Go. And we are off. Okay, and uh, I just I, I'm I'm noticing a note that I wrote to myself, which was to design an abort system for this rocket, <laughs> which I did do, because these engines can fail on me, and um, if I need to abort, I should build that all into the abort action group, some sort of escape system. But I didn't do that, so that's something for the future. <laughs> Jeb got up without any kind of abort system installed. Val can do the same. But I know what people are meaning, like to, to empty these radial tanks first so that the middle tank stays full in the same way as you can use. Yeah, I can probably do that, and that can probably squeeze more Delta V out of this. That's not a bad idea. Now, we should be good. Be nice to unlock a bigger capsule, too. But I think we are. We could always stick two of them together. That's, all, that's, that's always an option. Okay, coming up to staging these boosters. There they go. Eye on that, that should all be good. So Valentina is going for the old high space, which because this is Kerbin scaled, that's just 250 kilometers, so it's not that far. But we'll first just get ourselves in orbit. Okay, we've reached our target apoapsis. Now what I want to do is just get a better TWR on that engine. That feels better. Before we it sets up the maneuver node, which will happen once we're at 80, once we're out of the atmosphere at 70 kilometers. Oh, I shouldn't have to run the fuel cell because the solar panel should keep the batteries topped up. Okay, so there we are. We are getting, yep, getting ready to perform our burn again. It should do it for me automatically. There is a staging event and my script cannot deal with the staging event. So I'll have to stage manually. I don't think I put a, sm oh, I did put a smart part on here. So it will stage on its own, okay. But I know, oh, here we go. And here comes the burn. And I know my script does not work out the burn time taking to account the two different engines. I know it does that wrong. So that's why it started later than what the game said it should start at. But I think it should be okay. On to the next one. And then we should have ourselves two level one pilots. Oh, she's already level one. How is she level one? I don't know. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do, Maxim. I'm thinking the exact same thing. Once we've established ourselves in orbit here, about 80 by 80-ish orbit, I'm going to use a maneuver node to figure out what that uh, tr what the cost will be of making the plane change and see if this rocket needs a bit of a boost. Now, when we go to build one to rescue those Kerbals, we can lose the material study. We can lose the uh, mystery goo. So that will be some weight savings there. We'll see if we can make the booster a little bit more efficient. So there may be some 
weight savings without really having to change this too much. But first thing first. I don't like, I really got to work on this program. It, I don't like how low, it's still burning. It's just really low. And it didn't even quite make an orbit. So I'm going to. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, I don't like it. It doesn't do good orbits. I got to work on that. How come Valentina's level one? I got locked to prograde and everything. I don't know. That's weird. Okay. Anyway. Oh, let's turn off the radiation. So I want to figure out how much this plane change is going to cost here. So if I do it right here, I think it's going to be pretty steep. Yeah, I don't have anywhere near. So to do the plane change, you can see it's like a thousand meters per second and in, in about that. Uh, so that's pretty steep. Now an alternative, an alternative to doing that is if you instead push out your apoapsis, but we don't have all the time in the world. This thing only has like five days of resources, right? Make the plane change out here. See how much cheaper that second burn? I'm still, it's still turning out to be too much. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, this isn't going to work. So we're going to need to build ourselves a much beefier, a much, much, much beefier craft. All right, anyway, let's start off by putting Valentina into orbit. Yeah, to do that rescue, we're going to need something beefier. That's okay. Or... Oh no, I don't know if I can launch at a different launch site. One thing at a time. Let's burn prograde. Get to that high space. She's got the fuel for that at least. Yeah, you think she got some points for flying planes around. There's the Kerbal Academy mod installed. And uh, she might have gotten experience for all of the sort of just flying around type of stuff that we did. I'm not quite sure how that works. But uh, whatever. She's level th level one. I can deal. All right. So there we are. I put my apoapsis at about 277 kilometers. So well into high space. The idea being that um, we'll collect what we need up here. And then I'll lower my periapsis from up there and then come down around oh i guess i'm coming down in the atlantic based on this i wasn't really paying too much attention to be honest so we got to get up to 250 kilometers and then we'll start we'll start some equipment I'm hoping we'll be above 250 kilometers long enough to run everything. We might not be, but in which case, just do another orbit. I don't know if I, I don't know if I have the fuel to circuit. Well, I probably do, but better, better to be cheap and stingy. I think. Okay, so we're coming up. Okay, and we're gonna start that fuel cell first because that's what powers the mystery goo. And the material study. Boom. And then we'll start the material study. And the mystery goo. They're going. There. They're all going now. And she's also going to do a crew report. And she's also going to do an EVA report. So we got lots and lots of things to do. So let's start by doing a little EVA report up here. Oh yeah. She has that texture issue too. Because I gave her the same. Run that. I'm not going to even bother flying around. Okay, so... Oh no, I am going to fly around because I can't even... Whoa, 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 grab. Does she have fuel? Yeah, she does. 
Oh well, just let it go. Yeah, there's something, I'm not sure, with Texture Replacer, there is some sort of conflict with the, I think it's the SpaceX suits I picked. I think those are the ones that mess it up. The SpaceX style flight suits. Anyway, she's there. We'll board her. Come out of there. Okay. SAS on. Now here comes the question. Oh no, it's going to take 20 minutes to do the material study. So this is going to take a couple of passes, isn't it? Oh, well. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't, don't go twirling on me. I time warped and she hadn't quite settled in on her vector there. Yeah, we're not going to be above 250 kilometers for 20 minutes. I don't think. Again, radiation belt stuff. Oh, we did. Oh, no, no, we didn't get it all. So if we take a look at here and we look at material study, the space high one, uh, we didn't quite get half of it. So we're going to have to go around again. That's okay. Now I should, while we're going around. Oh, of course, we're doing contracts too. Good golly, Miss Molly forgotten all about my contracts well I got it oh that's why I had that stupid craft to do this position a specific satellite in an orbit of earth and that's why it had the science junior board because it had to oh dear now everything's making sense this is why I need to take better notes <laughs> And I never grabbed the orbit contracts. Oh my gosh. I am such a rockhead. I said, oh, I can't forget to grab these orbit contracts. And then I didn't grab them. Wow. All right, let's go around and get some more mis mis material study stuff. Wow. Oh, I should be. Shoot, 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 shoot. I should have turned off. The fuel cell and all that. Uh, the shadow really doesn't matter because the the solar panels have no hope of providing enough electricity to run that materials bay. Oh my gosh, I'm doing so many dumb things, but what else is new? Okay, turn back on the fuel cell. I should have turned off the fuel cell earlier and to install another, what is the mod? Better notes. No, I have a whiteboard and I write notes on that. I think that's a better system for me, but uh, I'm just not very good at putting those notes down. No matter what the mod is, if I don't provide the notes, the mod's not going to make the notes for me. I think that's where my, my issue is. Okay, let's see. Are we going to run? I got a feeling we got to go around one more time. It's going to be close. Look at that. 50 something seconds left. Yeah. Okay. And it stopped. Okay. So we're going to turn off the fuel cell. How is uh, Valentina doing? That's the bigger problem. Oh, she's fine. She's fine. Go around one more time. One more time. Okay, again, start up that fuel cell. This should finish off the material study. Okay, only got 45 seconds to go. Okay, that is that. So fuel cell again, turn that off. And what we should be doing, batteries should be, yep, batteries are fully charged. 
again, I ran into the issue with the data. I don't want to, I want to see if I don't do the same thing. Is there a way, if I turn that off, I'm not sure if this works, and then go to here, and then go transfer data. I don't know. I don't think that did it. Nope. I can see there's mystery goo there. There's, yeah. Ah, uh, I got to figure out how to do it. So I need better. Okay. So lesson there, just have enough data slots for everything. You can't control what data gets stored up here. So, oh, well. <laughs> So, I want to get out to Apoapsis, and then I'm just going to lower my periapsis into the atmosphere. I think that, oh yeah, we're going to end up in the Pacific because of our time around here. That should work fine. The fuel cell runs on uh, hydrogen and oxygen, so it would eventually run out of hydrogen. And then it won't work anymore. Okay, I'm going to lower this to about 25 kilometers. I probably used up a lot of the hydrogen. Oh, there's still a lot. I could have run it for longer. There's still a lot of hydrogen aboard. So we definitely could make an improved version of this. We're not getting all the science we potentially could. But it kind of is what it is. I need to be more this way, and then I'm going to put that on free. There we go. Oh, we're going this way. Hopefully we won't run out of electricity again on the way down. Okay, so staging, and again, there's no control on this at all. And I'm going to again take a, keep the science, because I think I'll poke, park that over there. Okay, i got to remember to get contracts. <laughs> I, I've done orbits twice and not gotten the contracts for them, because both times I forgot to grab the contracts, because I'm a doofus. So you can see there's a teeny amount of the space high material science left. How about the mystery goo? Oh, there's lots of flying high, but of course that's trickier to get, isn't it? Uh, the, yes, Maxim's asking a good question about the Kerbals that need to be rescued. As long as you don't render them, they're fine. They're kind of frozen in their current state, kind of like suspended animation, and they're not using up any resources. <clears throat> but the moment you render them, then they start using up resources. So it is very important that you don't render them before you are ready to do the rescue. Like, don't go into the tracking station and go take a look at them because by the time you're up there, they'll be dead. So that's something to be very aware of. And we said we were going to come close to Hawaii. I'm sorry, am I crazy? But am I not? Uh, we thought Jeb came close to Hawaii. I think we're like bombing Maui or something. Wow. Wow. We like, we like Hawaii. I wasn't even trying for this. This is great for Valentina. She can just swim to a beach. <laughs> oh, is she collecting anything? Crew reports. How are we doing for crew reports? Oh, we're all filled up with crew reports. Yep. Okay. And electricity is better now. Lots of electric charge because I put the little batteries on there. 